Hey, what's up, everybody? We're at the Nintendo booth, E3 2012, here with Henry, who's going hands-on with Super Mario Brothers U. How is it? Uh, it's pretty good. It's a lot like the previous new Super Mario Brothers game so far, but uh, with a lot of new items in it. For, for people at home, you may not be able to see the screen, but you're actually seeing exactly the same thing on your controller as you're seeing on the screen, right? Right. The TV and the uh, and the remote are the same, so they it's uh, you can like shut off the controller or shut off the TV and still keep playing the same thing. You mentioned like the shaking and things like that. Is it, what are some of the other uses of, of the, the unique? controller functions? Um, well, mostly it does play just like the, um, the Wii U one, so aside from shaking to spin or to do a special action, it's uh, pretty similar to the uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii game, to be honest. But uh, like you even use the uh, control pad, not the, uh, not the new analog sticks. All right, let's see if I can do a little better this time. Are there any touch controls? Uh, you can touch it, like for the menus I've seen, but not for actually like Mario. The touch controls are more so for the uh, multiplayer aspect, where you set up um, new platforms for people to grab. What do you think of this in comparison to, to the other new Super Mario Brothers games? Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting so far. It definitely looks better, um, but not to such a crazy degree. I, I mostly played uh, that game in single player, though, so this is a little different for me. All right, and one up, got it. Nice. So, Henry Gilbert, uh, is there any release information thus far? No, I would bet this will be a launch game or close to it, but they haven't announced it yet. All right, now we're back on the E3 show floor at the Nintendo booth. What are we playing here, Henry? This is Game & Wario, the uh, new WarioWare series or entry. How is, how is this one different from uh, the, the regular WarioWare that's been out before? The levels seem a lot more involved, and just like every WarioWare game before it, it's all about using the special uh, techniques of the new system. Like this one is Shutter, where it's about taking photographs of uh, criminals that are popping up, and they give you a list of who the criminals are. You pull up the, this like a camera to the screen. All right, so who are my five criminals? Right. right, I see one of them already. So what happens as you as you take pictures of them? There we All right, there. See, I got that picture of uh, one of the criminals. Now he's going to tell. Oh, I got to send the camera by moving it down. Uh, it's too small. Uh, all right. Well, I got that one anyway. Yeah, let's move on to the my other favorite, which is Arrow. This one's a bit more straightforward. So this one, you hold it uh, however way you hold the Wii Remote. Then the uh, on the screen down here is going to be the arrows uh, where you pull back and shoot them at people. You have to protect the strawberries, which are right here. And uh, you aim by moving this up and down. Go. Okay. What are some of the other items that are, are appear in this game? Uh, nothing much else. It's uh, the pepper uh, brings it up, and the, some mines will appear in a little bit here. Also, you can uh, knock people into other ones. Uh, you can knock guys uh, if you hit them hard enough into each other. All right. And then uh, it gets a chain reaction effect for a combo. All right, let me see if I can get one of these mines here. Ah, there we go. That's awesome. So is there any launch information on this one? No, but I'd say from the look of it, most Wario games come out at launch, uh, so I would bet the same from this one, too. Ah. All right, now we're at a different section of the Wii U area. Uh, what are we looking at? This is Zombie U, quite different from the other stuff we'd seen before. This is a first-person zombie game from Ubisoft. There we go. It's, it's really good-looking for a... Compared to a lot of the stuff, it's a real graphic showcase, I'd say, compared to other stuff here. There's the palace uh, where the queen lives, I'm assuming. I don't know. The game takes place in England. The interesting thing about the game is how it works. It's all up on the top screen, but when you search through stuff or scan items, you do it with the uh, menu here. Let's see if I can find something to scan real quick. So then you hold down the, uh, to pull out the scanner and check the room for stuff, you hold down the left trigger button, 
and search around it in a camera mode here and uh, look for items and scan them. It's kind of, it reminds me of the uh, most recent Resident Evil game on uh, game uh, on the Nintendo 3DS. Your avatar actually turns around and you can kind of imitating the same sort of moves that you've made there. Yeah, and another thing about this is how uh, one bite kills you, so you have to be w really careful. It's more like zombie films than uh, other zombie games. Same question as always. I mean, do we have any uh, launch information on this yet? No, Nintendo in general is being pretty st uh, stingy with it. Though Ubisoft usually shoots for release day with uh, with stuff with uh, their launch with their games. So. All right. Well, before we cut out of here, I just wanted to show everybody this thing. What is this? Looks looks really familiar, but it's not. No, it's the new Wii U. It's new Pro controller, the Wii U Pro. It's. Uh, Layout's kind of similar to the uh, 360, except the analog stick is at the, uh, at the top on the right side as well. There's all buttons. This is made, you, you play single player with the, uh, with the game pad. This is used in multiplayer. And this is uh, going to be available at launch, or no information yet? No information yet. I bet it will be launched. All right, back on the Nintendo booth. Uh, Henry, what are we playing here? This is a very long-awaited game. This is Pikmin 3. Quite possibly the biggest game announced at the Nintendo press conference today. Yeah, at least for hardcore fans, I would say so. So this is uh, controls mainly with the Wii remote and the uh, nunchuck. And the map is uh, on the game pad there. That's the main use of the, that controller. For some people who may not know, uh, talk us through what Pikmin is. Well, so Pikmin is uh, basically a real-time strategy game, except rather simplified. You have a army of little carrot ant men that follow you around of different powers, and you throw them at uh, at both bosses. Whoa, at bosses and items. Though I'm not doing so good here at the start. All right, so we are in this boss battle now. Tell us what we're doing here, Henry. All right, so I have the ro special rock Pikmin. I'm throwing at this thing to try to crack open its shell first, to then throw the red Pikmin at him. But uh, I got to get them all behind me again to make sure to throw them out. But this guy is making quick work of most of my Pikmin. Can you explain a little bit about some of the controls that you're using? Well, yeah, you, uh, you're using the pointer to move the, uh, the reticle around the square. And then uh, you call it, use the C button on the, uh, the nunchuck to call them back to you or the, uh, to reorder them. Use A to just toss them at the guy. All right, there, I finally think I made a dent in it. Ah, I, my guys keep getting caught, though. And you use the B button to call them back into action. I really like uh, the cuteness of the little animals mixed with the savagery of it all because it is like the nature of, like, eat, or, eat and be eaten. All right, ah, finally got the shell off this thing. But now it's in full-on attack mode here. I am stuck underneath it. I, you, I did not have a good plan of attack against this guy. Uh, but that was pretty fun. I think you could, maybe, I sh maybe could aim for the tail next time. I think I'd do better. Uh, that was good. All right, and so launch title, maybe? Maybe. They, they aren't saying, but yeah, this is, it's been in development for so long, you got to hope it's a launch title. Awesome. All right, well, this brings us to the end of our tour. So. Check back on GamesRadar.com for all of our E3 coverage, including the Nintendo press conference, as well as all these demos that we've been doing on the floor. Any previews from you, Henry? Well, yeah, definitely Pikmin and uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii U and the uh, Zombie U too. Yeah. Awesome. So check out the site. <laughs> <laughs>